want to say something about the AI process that you're going to see in this video. Uh, this is just how I do things. Don't know whether it's necessarily the best way to do it, but it's how I've done it for several years. And my AI percentage is, is halfway decent. Uh, and so the cow that you're going to see me breed, uh, she's an older cow. Sometimes they can be really easy to breed. Sometimes they can be kind of difficult. She wasn't bad. It probably took me maybe a minute or less to get her, uh, get the semen where it needed to be. Sometimes it's 30 seconds or less. So you never know. It just varies from cow to cow. But uh, I just wanted to give you that little uh, tidbit of saying that's just how I do things. There's tons of AI videos on the internet you can watch and everybody has a a little bit different technique so that's just how i do it and typically i'll breed normally in a normal year a little over a hundred head every year so not only myself but i got a couple other uh friends and customers that i breed for hope the wind isn't too bad out here uh it is really really windy and it's going to get colder and we had close to three inches of rain so as you watch the video you'll see me in the mud and i think i mentioned that so at the end hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching First thing that's got to happen tonight is I have to uh, breed this cow she was in this morning of course she'll be the one that does not want to go in so I'll get her down there in the system maybe we'll see how this goes She's got a baby out in the field, so she's not going to be too excited about going in. But we'll see. So far, so good. But, of course, she went right past where she needs to go. And if you can't tell, it is darn muddy here. We've had uh, almost uh, three inches of rain. Well, that wasn't too bad. Get the other alleyway gate open. This is a C&B system that came out of Alabama. I went down and picked it up a year ago. And believe me, it is a step up from a system I had that was probably 40 years old. And I really like this, it works fine. And it is heavy and the price was excellent. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, sis, come on. Come on, there you go. Come on. So she went all the way up through there. I'll make sure that she is 
locked in before I start working the getting the semen ready. And she didn't hit it hard enough. So she is ready, and I will. Go show you how I get the semen ready. Okay, I'm gonna breed this cow that's in the chute to a bull called the Connolly Passport. So I'm gonna get in my semen tank and I'm looking for, uh, in canister five, I'm looking for Angus 6264. And that is, as I said, in canister five. Okay, I found it. These are my tweezers. Grab the straw of it and put it in the thaw container. And while that is thawing, I'll get my paper towel ready. One sheet to dry off the straw semen. And then a couple sheets in my pocket to clean the cow off. Get my glove ready. And again, the semen is thawing at uh, 94 to uh, 96 degrees, actually 98 degrees. Next thing I'm gonna do is warm up my AI gun. I do simply do that by friction, by rubbing it between my uh, shirt or down by my pant legs and how I know if it's warm enough is I'll hold this up to my cheek and if it feels warm it's ready and then I'll hold that under my armpit and I will go over and grab my semen and then when I grab it I'm going to double check that it is the passport bull which it is, and it's labeled right on the straw. Try and keep it covered up away from any sunlight. Clip the end of it. And then I'm gonna put it in the sheath. Load it into the AI gun. I'm gonna put it back on the paper towel and put it down my pants leg so that it stays 
body temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and put the glove on. I have the lube in my pocket. So I'm headed up to the chute through the mud. And I'm hoping that you can see this process. cows that you see here they are all uh, due to have a calf so I'm here in the chute I'm gonna lube up the glove Make sure that the rectum is uh, lubed. And if this cow has manure in the rectal tract, I will clean that out before I try to breed her. She appears to be clean. And usually when I say that, they'll defecate. So I've cleaned the bulb off. I do have the cervix. This was an older cow. So her cervix was uh, rather large. I could barely reach around it. So I twist the rod as I bring it out because I don't want the suction to draw the semen back out. So hopefully she will stick. I'll turn this glove wrong side out, that way my hands don't get dirty. I'm also going to give her a shot of what's called Sisterellin. And I'm going to put one of those Estrus Alert patches on her so that uh, if she comes back in heat in 21 days, I will know. So she's done, and I'm ready to kick her out. I guess the final thing I'll mention is my calving book. So in this particular book, I record what cow number I bred, the date. Then I also put down the actual due date then I'll transfer this information to my laptop computer.